Hey, Phantom is here. Today I'm going to be continuing my journey through the backwood forest on the winding trail. Learning some syntax and things with Python programming language. If you're wondering why my voice sounds messed up, it's because I feel kind of sick. And so I thought, hey, I want to make a YouTube video and program. Because I don't feel good. <laughs> That's how you do it. Okay. Let's see here. What happened to my volume? There we go. Okay. So I need to move and then. Here, thirty-seven, thirteen. You could pretty much copy this and then change the numbers like that, just like that. And then uh, build a fence to stop an ogre. I think I need to build a fence here at 72.25. So, um, let's zero build. I already forgot the numbers. That's supposed to be 70, 72, 25. Like that, I think. So let's run it. See how it turns out. Okay. So far, so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like how he says whenever he builds them. Character just does random things. Alright. Ooh, Programmacaton. Programmaticon part two. Whoa. One of my cats just tackled the other one. Alright. Do you want to be a programmer? Um, maybe. Why not? Woodland cubies, cubbies. Let's go in here and see what they're talking about. Skills, sir. Code combat. Code combat. Check the wooded cubbies for enemies. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna move. So we have all the moves. If there's an enemy, attack the enemy. Attack the enemy here. It helps close if statements.
so whoop This may be picked up as a code. Close. Oh, okay, no, it's, it's good. It's good. Use an if statement to check if the enemy exists. Um, if. the enemy. Pass doesn't mean anything, it helps close the students. Should I be putting pass on all of these then? That's the question. Let me try it out. And run it. Number one stunner. It looks like it's doing pretty good so far. job good job okay of course Check this one out what is this that's kind of nice what's this So now we can move a little bit easier without having to type hero dot all that. Do not attack if there's no munchkin around, you'll confuse the hero. Hmm. Okay. Well true. Enemy hero finding is an if statement. To check if an enemy exist if enemy see we already did the find the nearest enemy up here so that goes into the variable enemy so, if there's an enemy anywhere on the screen, if there's, you're going to go ahead and attack that guy two times. If I had more damage on my sword, I could just attack him once. Let's run it. Tickets to this event. Here, get a shot. Miss Danny, you'll be here, get a shot. Wow, five gold on the ogre. Oh. Oh. Nice. I like how it shows you how it affects the, the game while you do your code. You get you get that feedback. 
which is really good. Let's continue. Continue down the road. Nothing to it. Oh, these upgrade my movement speed. Yeah, good combat. I think it also changes how I type it in. Villagers must survive. Eliminate the ogres. Okay. Expand your code's possibilities. Stay in the middle and defend. If there's an enemy, we're gonna attack that enemy two times. Is that how that's supposed to look? Oh. Hero dot move. Okay. Not simple enough. The method and the parameters. There you go. That's what the these these are parameters. I'm learn I'm learning just like you guys. So. So this is the the method and then the parameters inside of, of that change. And so something else that you can do is I think you can go something like uh, x equals Here you can do like X Y, which is it's, it's more of a a, a programmy, <laughs> more of a coding way of doing it. It looks like to me. So then, if you have like a really long, you start to have more code. You can just come back up here and change it once. And then it changes throughout the whole, the whole program, or your little, um, kind of like your little section of the program. So let's see if this works. Okay, it does. It does work. That's cool. I just declared some variables right there. That's cool. So what I just learned is that the method, the move x y is completely different from the uh, parameters in there. I thought this x and this y might be affected by this x and this y variable. That's not that's not what happened. And that's where I'm telling you guys like my mind I don't really have a I don't really have a good understanding of programming languages. I'm really confused. But this little game is helping to kind of clarify everything which is nice. Oh, well, this is what happened. Let's put that code in. Let's go.
So yeah, I just did a few levels. Um, I'll probably come back. I'll probably play some more later. Definitely want to run through this whole thing and, and figure it all out. So we'll, we'll continue on this journey. All right, thanks guys for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one. Keep on cracking. Peace out.